I am out here on this beautiful sunshiny morning. I am listening to the red winged blackbirds. Spring is arriving. It is early this year. I'm so interested to see what happens through the summer. Last year we were so low on growing degree days, so a lot of flowers never were able to form the seeds. But this year we're ahead on growing degree days, so what will happen? I have no idea, but we're going to find out. And as I'm out here enjoying all of what is happening, I've been trimming some trails and one of the plants that was overhanging the trail was elderberry, Sambucus canadensis. And it's a really spectacular plant. It's beautiful, has massive flower heads, tons of fruits. The pollinators and the birds love them. Many humans love to eat the fruits. And we just love having this plant around. And so I really don't like trimming plants anyways but we always need to be able to pass through areas and so when I trimmed this one I noted that on those stalks I trimmed there were all kinds of leaf buds and they looked very healthy and vibrant and one thing I know about elderberry is that they do well from cuttings which just means you can take cuttings from different parts of the plant. For some plant species it's from the branches, for some it's roots. So this here is branches and then they will root if you put them in soil. And as I trimmed the branch, I noted that there were many, many leaf buds. So I just trimmed from leaf bud to leaf bud. That's all I did. And this one, you can see the leaf buds are here. They've actually started leafing out. And then I had a good five inches or so of stalk or branch beneath it before I hit the next leaf bud and so then I would just trim above that leaf bud and voila there's a whole bunch of new plants growing right now you can see on this one there's no leafing out so it might not make it but this one is just starting to leaf out and then these all are definitely leafing out I pulled one of these out the other day and there are little bitty roots that are starting to form. I'm really curious to see what happens with these leaves when the freezes come that are coming. We're going to be in the 20s. All kinds of things are happening as I already said and so how these tender leaves will do in those colder temps we'll find out. And we probably will get a lot lower than the 20s at some point, I bet, because we are really only in March, mid-March. Our frost-free day up here is March, or May 15th at the earliest, so we got a long ways to go. But the elderberry are doing great so far, and I'm just reusing old yogurt containers that I have drilled holes into the bottom of, and that's that. So we're making some elderberry. And then we'll plant them out in areas where they will be happy. They're just going to sit here in the shade house for now. And once we get to that glorious time of year when it's warm and there's no freezing, we will plant them in the earth. And then they'll get to offer their goodness to the rest of the life that lives here.